Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. Welcome to my channel. My last video was about the Yolink water sensor alarm system or water level alarm system. It can be used for uh, tanks like if you're filling them and let you know that the tank is filled up or it can be used if the tank water level drops. Okay, that's all in my video. I'll leave a link of the whole system that I'm using it costs a total of about $40, so it's cheap enough. But what I didn't show in my video, which I probably should have shown real quickly, is how does it work, and so you would see how it works. Also in this uh, video, I'm going to show Paul's aquarium. Uh, not only his aquarium, but he's doing an interview. Paul is the guy who has the plenum he's been using for 51 years in a tank, for 51 years. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me what size tank and stuff. Well, he's got a whole interview he's doing. I'll leave a link to that in this video. Then there's another aquarium I'm going to show you, which uh, I will leave a link to where you can go watch this guy's discus tank, and uh, he shows exactly how to build it from start to finish, what he uses, the material he uses, and then he sh shows photographs of it. And I think the most recent photographs of his aquarium is about nine months ago. He shows the most recent, but it's been set up longer than that. So that's all going to be in this video. So you want to stay tuned to the end of it. But right now, just quickly, I'm going to do a little test this to show you. Now, as I said in the last video, this uh, water level sensor, because of these new aquariums that they're making and I like them, and I'm sure a lot of people like them, where they're building a wear in the back of the tank. It's built right there, and it will have like a wear and, and a sump and everything pre-built in like this tank does. The Innovative Marine 15-gallon has it. A lot of manufacturers are doing that because uh, it's, people don't want to buy hang-on-the-back filters, or they don't want to buy canister filters, or they only have so much room. And these aquariums are really nice in that aspect of saving room. But it does take up room in the aquarium, however, for the filtration. But it has different uh, sections in it. So you can use carbon, whatever you want, protein skimmers. However, there's one problem with, with any aquarium that uses a wear, no matter what the manufacturer does. The distance between the top and where the water level is on all these tanks never changes. And because it never seems to change, you never know in the wear part that's in the back how low it's starting to get as it, the tank evaporates. Because this is a constant. And it does it with all the aquariums like this because it all depends on where the slots are for the overflow that may go into a sock or whatever you're using. So this tricks people into thinking that, oh, no evaporation. I mean, you can, you can five days from now, you'll see that the tank has not went down. But in the wear or in your back part of the filter, water level is dropping more and more and more every day just through evaporation. So because... This tricks you in thinking that, and, and like I try to make, like, if you go away, if your Aunt Susie is, is taking care of your fish, how do they know when to put water in without overflowing the aquarium, right? I have people, I have watched my tank. How are they going to know? Since the water level never drops, visually you would think, well, the aquarium's got more than enough water in it. They don't know in the back it's going lower and lower and lower to the point where it can go completely empty and destroy pumps and everything back there, and yet the water level will remain the same. So I wanted to give you a quick little thing about it. I'm going to take I'm going to take a gallon of water. Mine set this aquarium set for the alarm to go off at one gallon. When a gallon of water is taken out of it, the alarm should sound telling me that in the, you'll see, the water here is not going to drop. But in the wear, it will drop one gallon of water, and then the alarm's going to go off. Now, 
Can you hear that? The beeping? That's not quite, it's not quite even a gallon of water. And already the alarm is beeping, telling me that I need to put in about a gallon of water. And it will keep beeping and it will send now a message to your phone or your tablet because they have an app. And if you're away, you can look at it and say, hey, I have an alarm. My tank water is too low. Or let's say you're filling your tank and you're using it to fill a tank and you're busy and you got your phone on you or whatever. It will warn you that, hey, hey, your, your tank's full enough. Go back and stop the water. It's happened. I've had even this tank where I filled it to the brim because I got busy. And luckily, I caught it in time. So anyhow, it's now beeping. It's letting you know that, hey, you need to fill it up with at least a gallon of water. So when I pour the water back in, there, it stopped beeping. You got to give it some time for the float to come up and then it will stop beeping, letting you know that you have put a, enough water, which is good because now if I go away and something happens and something gets messed up with the uh, auto top off, the person who watches my aquariums knows for sure that there's something wrong. I don't want to mess them with it because, you know, it's just too much. Whenever you hear the alarm, just pour a gallon of water in. And it's that simple. Uh, because with this tank, about a half a gallon of water a day evaporates. And in most of these tanks, depending if you have a lid or not, that's going to determine how much water Evaporate. So I just want to give you a quick little view on how sensitive the float switch is to help you know when to add water. Because visually, did you see the tank go down? No, no, you don't. Okay, so I'm glad I, I wanted to show you that little spot about how the uh, controller works when your water level goes down, where it senses that your water level is too, from the float switch, that it's down too low. And um, I thought that at least a little demonstration will let you know, you know, for $40, it's not that expensive. If you don't want to spend that much, only $30, you just buy the controller itself. It comes with the float switch and everything, and you really don't need the bracket if you don't want it. So it's designed that way where you don't need it. But I bought the brackets. The brackets 10 bucks. So $40, you buy them both. By the next day, they were delivered. Now, in the second part of this video, I want to talk about Paul, uh, Bald Asano. Bald Asano. Okay, I, I don't know if that last name is really his name or not. And I don't mean to be, you know, rude if that really is, but... Um, it could be a YouTube name he made up, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, Paul reached out to me. He thanked me for doing a video that I did a few videos ago about his 51-year-old reef aquarium using a plenum. And that's a long time for an aquarium to be running 51 years, especially if it's a reef aquarium and using a plenum. And, but that would make sense because fluids have to move in and out of the substrate, creating a biological filter. And if it's run correctly, there's no reason why it should be torn down. You know, just no reason. So for those of you who ask me a lot of questions like what size is his tank, what kind of lighting he uses, I'm leaving a link below. You click on it to see Paul's video. He's doing a, it's called Rapping with Reef Bum. It's the video. And Paul, uh, owner of a 51-year-old reef tank, and it's a YouTube uh, interview. And he does a lot of interviews. Apparently, he's pretty popular because uh, he wrote me an email. It says, uh, hi, Kevin. Thanks for getting back to me. 
I am interviewed on Boston Reef Forums tonight, but I have been interviewed quite a few times. Before COVID, I used to go to these forums in person, but as you know, there's not a lot of that now. I was interviewed by Reef Bums a few months ago. It's all about my tank and methods if you are interested. So for those of you who's been asking me questions like what size is his tank, blah, 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 apparently this will answer all your questions. Like I said, a link will be below. Also in this video, I want to talk about a four foot, 70 gallon tank set up with a plenum. It doesn't have any, has music to the video, but he shows how to set it up. So there is no talking in the video, it's basically music. He shows exactly step by step how he set up this particular discus aquarium. He also has cones in there for the discus to spawn. He has several discus, beautiful aquarium, something you may want to watch. If you're newer and you haven't seen my archives on how to make a plenum, this video that he shows, which I will list below, so you can go click on it if you want to watch it. Like I said, there is no talking. He basically shows pictures with writing on what he did and the materials he used to make his plenum for his discus aquarium. It's a beautiful aquarium. You may want to take time out just to look at it. If you're interested in building a plenum, he shows you how he did it. So that's going to be in his video. And that will, uh, I think it, it'll be interesting for those who want to see how to build a particular freshwater aquarium and his very, what can I say, beautiful discus, just absolutely gorgeous, you know, made a real nice 70 gallon aquarium. So that's it for this video. I thought I would bring up about Paul because a lot of questions has been asked. I thought I would bring up about uh, the alarming system that I use now because Accidents happen. It's happened to me with these newer aquariums now, with these wares or sumps that are built into them in the back. The water level in the aquarium, it never changes. So I can look at an aquarium and say, oh, it's low. But with these new aquariums, you can't tell that they've lost water. They always maintain a certain height in the aquarium. Because in the wear itself, or in the sump itself, what the water level is beginning to drop. How do you know? Unless you're going to look at it every single day. But like I said, it it's only $40. And if you don't want the, the clamp, then it's only $30. It's $10 less without the clamp that you can buy, which I gave links to. And I'll give links to this video in case you want to buy one. Come on, $40 isn't that much. And it was delivered the next day. Watch Paul's video. Really, it's a very interesting to see a 51-year-old aquarium using a plenum. It's amazing. It really is. So no matter what any YouTubers out there say, you can't beat a 51-year-old aquarium using a plenum. You know, I've seen nobody. And I will be doing some other videos on products that I got that I think you'd be interested in that are alternatives to let's say if you go want to go over into the salt water and maybe use some of their products i've come up with products that are considerably cheaper than if you go and buy the salt water alternative okay so i'll get into that into some videos so until next time happy fish keeping and thank you very much for watching my youtube channel